So Diddy has been cancelled, but not just cancelling alone. Now uh, we're getting reports that Harvard University apparently has also stripped off a degree, which initially was supposed to have been given to Diddy, uh, but they say that no, they're not going to give this degree to a very notorious individual. And we all know the reason that could be, well, there's more to it. And so we're actually going to delve into what exactly could be one of the reasons or many of the reasons why Howard uh, I think I got the name correctly, not haven't, uh, as many of you have in reports in Howard University, uh, have apparently stripped Diddy of this um, graduation and certificates. So let's get quickly into it because a lot of people have been um, saying a lot of stuff about it. A lot of people equally are happy that this is happening to Diddy. But the board of Howard uh, University, a historically black university in Washington, D.C., has moved to strip Sean Diddy Combs for his honorary degree. Now, the uh, announcement comes after CNN published a CCTV video of the hip-hop producer hitting an ex-girlfriend in a hotel hallway. Now, in a statement on Friday, the university said his behavior, as captured in the recently released video, is so fundamentally incompatible with Howard University's core values and believes that he is deemed no longer worthy to hold the institution's highest honor. The rapper apologized after the video was released last month for the attack on singer Cassandra Cassie Ventura. I was, dis uh, I was disgusted uh, when I did it. I mean disgusted now, Mr. Combs said in his statement. I went and sought out professional help. I got into going to therapy, going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. Howard University also conferred the degree on Mr. Combs in 2014. It said, it is in a statement that it won't also end a scholarship in his name and terminate the 2016 gift agreement with the rapper. The agreement was about 1 million US dollars, which is equivalent to 785,000 euros donation that he made through his foundation. The Sean Combs Foundation did not respond to a request for comment. Now, the university statement also said that Mr. Combs' name would be removed from all documents less than honorary degrees received. The university is unwavering, uh, you know, on uh, its op opposition to all acts of interpersonal violence, the statement also said. Now, four women, including his former long-time partner, Miss Ventura, filed a lawsuit against the musician accusing him of sexual and physical abuse. Miss Ventura's lawsuit was settled in Nvombe, as we all know, and of course, Mr. Combs has denied all sexual assault allegations. In a statement issued last December, Mr. Combs also defended himself against what he described as sickening allegations made by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, and this was the most viral for, uh, you know, post from uh, Didi. He says, uh, I did not do any of the awful things uh, being alleged. Uh, he said, adding uh, he would fight to clear his name. In March also, a federal uh, agent raided two houses owned by the Star as part of an ongoing investigation into the sex trafficking case. His lawyers also called their attention on unprecedented ambush and a gross obesity of military level force and maintained his client's innocence. Like... At this point, I feel like everybody literally wants to disassociate themselves from Diddy and they just do not care what happens to him. Now, Howard says that they just are taking back their certificates, the degree that Diddy came to acquire from their institution, you're taking it back. And they don't need his money again, so they're going to do a refund, I think. But that, that's quite a million dollars we're talking about. And the university says, well, no, they, they're not actually interested anymore in Diddy's office. The donations and the NGOs, whatever that he's, uh, he's, he's, he's offered to the um, institution, they are no more interested in it, guys. And this is actually giving a lot of people a different conversation on the internet. Some are saying that the institution has no right to strip off Diddy from his honorary degree because he earned it, he worked hard for it, he studied for it, and he deserved you know, that honorary award. And so... 
his character does not justify or i mean the award uh, or the certificate he backed does not justify his character and so they are two different things and some are even saying that Liddy could also take legal actions against the university that's Howard university it's like it's become more like a, a political and you know moral also um conversation on 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 the internet but i for one i don't know so my question is did the university outline all these um measures or like we, when we go to school and the university we have perspectives we have rules and regulations governing the school they, they made mention or state emphatically that if you do this this is going to happen to you if you breach these laws and even after you graduate we can or this can, if the, if, if if all of that was written inside the perspectives it was written the rules and regulations then i feel that they have every right to go for their certificate or uh, terminate did this participation in the school whatsoever but we're, I don't know so much about the schools, uh, you know, and I, I mean, forgive me, the, the lawyers can help us uh, out about this and learned colleagues also. That's why we always say you have to engage us in the comment section so we know what you think about it. But for me, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Literally, I'm just confused. If the school is doing the right thing or if you're not doing the right thing, I feel that we should, we should just allow the law to take its course. If did this team want to take these to the legal team to 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 battle it out i think i'm for it because now i'm, I'm really shocked because we've seen a lot of people who've also graduated from the university into arm robbery and all social vices but we don't see any uh university coming out to say that because this person now what would have happened to r kelly there because r kelly literally i'm sure went to university but he's in jail he's in jail isn't he in jail just mention a lot of people who are not noted in the society right now but have engaged themselves in notorious stuff what other universities talking about and so i just want to know if this university has a different um you know status quo that they apparently measure with and even after when you're done with your school and institution and if you flout your laws do you have all the rights to take off your uh, certificate away from you well then that be the case i i think i'm afraid about where it feels like because he's been engaged in so many activities and social vices and in indiscipline and justice and so the school feels that they can take her certificate the one that he paid for and acquired and went certain class to acquire and you just want to take it away. I, I don't think i'm really buying this like i mean yes we let's let's just call it spade a spade he worked for it he backed for it he sat in class and achieved that certificate for this alone i think the school is just getting things wrong like no it's not given like no it's not it's not given at all and i don't need it i don't i don't i don't need this like ha huh. i don't need it well let's know what you think about it inside the comment section because it has gotten a lot of people uh you know active on social media talking in business so this has some diligence open next news thanks for watching <laughs>